Hello there. So I've been using the Xperia Pro i for around two months now. And I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks and how you can get uh, creative with uh, phone photography and especially with the Xperia Pro i. And my goal with this video is to inspire and make you go outside and shoot by yourself. So let's get into tip number one. Use grid lines. And you enable this in the settings menu in Photography Pro. So, so using grid lines when you're out shooting can help you compose a photo using the rule of thirds. And then you ask yourself, what is the rule of thirds? Well, the rule of thirds is basically dividing your frame into two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And by following these lines, you can compose an image that are more appealing to the eye and more balanced. And the guideline says that you should place your subject where these lines meet like these four spots here, or lining up your subject with the lines. And you should not see this as a rule, as it says, but because I think art doesn't have any rules, but you could try to use it to guide you to get a more appealing shot. So let's go. Sony has released the vlogging kit that is made for vloggers and people that want to film themselves with the camera. This enables you to film yourself with the best camera on the phone instead of the regular front-facing camera. And you simply attach the external monitor to the phone holder of the back side of the phone with magnets. And via USB-C, you then see the screen on the monitor. You can attach a external microphone as well. And the remote control is communicating via Bluetooth. So my second tip for this video is to use the remote control to remote shoot the phone from a distance. And you can get really creative with that. You can take an image like standing on a field to get a cool selfie all by yourself or you can place the phone somewhere else where you're not able to stand and take a shot from a distance and i did this the other day and uh, we're gonna take a look at how it went so i'm at my parents place the countryside and today i'm gonna try to get close to some birds so what i'm gonna use today is a tripod a fat ball the remote control and I found this root from a field near here. And the birds hopefully will sit here, which will look really cool on the image. And lastly, and obviously, the Xperia Pro I. So my parents has this feeding station on the back side of the house here, where I'm gonna crush this one on a stone, placing the root on top of it. I need a phone to be really, really close to the uh, the branch because obviously I, I have 24 millimeter and I have 50 millimeter and I think I'm gonna use the 50 millimeter, but I wanna try to take an image with the 24 as well. And then I'm gonna trigger the phone from the inside of the kitchen. So I'm gonna be really comfortable with a cup of coffee just standing there. So uh, let's go. Starting off with this composition right here. I think it will work. I'm trying to, to get close and this is approximately maybe 30 centimeters or something. And I'm using the 50 millimeter lens. Well, I'm leaving you. review of the photos to see if the settings works or not. That is a pretty cool shot. Like frame it maybe like this. I don't know. 
pretty cool. It's beautiful light. It makes the, uh, the birds pop out of the shot. So the Xperia Pro Eye comes with a lot of cool features and my favorite one is the ability to change aperture. And this is where tip number three comes in. Use manual controls. So by changing the aperture, you can control how much light that comes into the sensor. By using F2, this lets in a ton of light to the sensor, which is good for low light photography or places where you want as much light as possible and a fast shutter speed. And by closing down the aperture to f4, you can decrease the amount of light coming into the sensor, which gives you full control over the situation while you're shooting. I'm gonna give you an example of this, and we're gonna take a look at what I did the other day with a friend. So I just arrived to this cool forest near my city, where I'm gonna try out some long exposure photography. I'm gonna use this one, which is a light, and uh, let's see what I can do with some uh, some cool light trails and such. And I brought a friend. His name is Sammy, and he's gonna help me out with this. So uh, we better get going. Okay, so I'm trying to find a path here in the forest where there's not much of a sym symmetry. I need the, the trees to look kind of random. So um, I think I found a spot. I'm gonna try to set this up to find a composition and then I need to figure out what settings we're gonna use. So for the settings we have right now, it seems like four seconds is the, the best shutter speed for the exposure. But how are we gonna run around in the forest in four seconds? That is not gonna work. So, so we're gonna change the aperture to f4. So we're slowly getting there, but it's too dark. So I need a even slower shutter speed. So I'll go with 30 seconds. Well, let's try that out. This is really cool. Okay, it seems like 30 seconds is the best shutter speed for the frame while we're using f4. So my last tip for this video is a little bonus tip and that is change the default shooting mode of the phone. So by default, every time you open Photography Pro, it is in the basic mode, which is good for some people that want to use basic mode and take a quick and easy image. But when I'm out shooting like this, I'd prefer it to stay where I was before. And you can change this in the menu. So if you go to menu, then you click on the yellow briefcase setup and then scroll halfway down and you see shooting mode at launch. Change this to last used mode, and every time you open Photography Pro, it will be where you last left it. So I wanna say a huge thanks to you for watching this far into the video, and I hope this gave you some inspiration to go out shoot by yourself. Have a good one, bye.